But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and time for good time. Now, as we announced before that we are going to have a debate with uh, a Turkish group and uh, uh, I found out that they are uh, from the Golan movement. They call themselves the Hemzit movement. Uh, I don't know if any of you is familiar with them. If you know the person in the picture, this guy is wanted by Turkey. And he is Abdullah Abdul Fattah Golan. He used to be the Sheikh of Erdogan himself. Uh, and... Uh, you know, as usual, the Muslims, they betray each other and they bite each other. Nothing new. So this group is from Abdullah Golan group. And supposedly they are proud to be Muslims. And they promised me to come. Then they send me an email saying, please take the word. He's a, like, like he don't, he don't like the word shake. So we changed the title, <clears throat> hoping that will not make him have any objection. And then they send me another email saying that the guy who was going to come, he refused. And now they are calling to find somebody else to come. And then they call, they start calling one after one and every single one of them. And I guess after they've been taught who is the one they will debate with, they back down and they refuse to show up. What a brave Islamic party. I thought I'm going to witness today really uh, true believers from the, Hem the Hemzit movement who they are big by number, small by power and they have no knowledge of Islam and they are uh, Golan by the way is really a terrorist even though they say he is not but this guy you know Erdogan is a terrorist I mean anyone who accept the teaching of Muhammad, he is going to follow terrorism. But this guy is a truly terrorist and he is protected by USA for a reason. Always USA and the West protect terrorists, nothing new. You know, I mean, uh, he is the one behind the Islamization of Turkey and forcing uh, uh, hijab and uh, kicking out uh, anyone who don't believe in Islam from the army and all the, you know, 
so this is a you know like they they say they are peaceful but in fact they were trying to lead military military uh, uh, movement and to conquer their neighbors they want to attack Greece they want to etc but today it's a very shameful day for those who they claim to be Muslims that at least you made a promise and actually you witness in the morning I said anyone will speak badly we want to we want to treat our guest with respect right you remember the video is still there and I said the admins will be watching the text anyone he says something silly or stupid we will block him just to be sure that they will not find an excuse to run away even though after all of this still they run away and here you ask yourself why they will run away if they are right and they knew that they can win just a question you know I mean if you are a person who have religion and religion is strong and uh, uh, you know Allah is inside in your side I mean this is the God you worship he is in your side so why what the problem you know how, how you cannot even win isn't it the Quran says if 100 of you would the patient can win against 2,000 you know which mean one one from the Hamzat movement can win against 10 Christians <laughs> 20 Christians <laughs> anyway my Skype is open if there is somebody is willing voluntarily to replace those I want to call them cowards sadly I wanted to debate real men it turned to be they are a bunch of potatoes and they don't even deserve to an announcement and we told people we have debate so if there is any Muslim who would like to take their place my Skype right now is open just text me and I will happy, be happy to take you as you know how we stand about Islam or stand about Islam Islam is a silly stupid religion and only foolish people believe in it <clears throat> Let us see Skype. All right. We see nothing in Skype. We see previous text. You see, it doesn't matter really. I mean, I made a new Skype. And we said to people, if you are a Christian, don't text me. And when we say Christian, they can call me. I mean, you do it only when we are asking you to call. But here we go. I just opened this account. I have like, I don't know, 500, 600 PM messages. And I would say, do we have any brave Muslim? He is not like the Himzet movement. The Himzet movement is not moving no more. The Himzet movement, it doesn't move. <clears throat> uh, no need to call Muhammad? Why no need to call? Why, why? Uh, you are the same as Muhammad. No need to see Allah. No need to speak to Allah. Let us make myself a prophet. Huh? Did your prophet Muhammad speak to his God? I mean, your God, Muslims, are the most funny one ever. He speaks to everybody, except Muhammad. The only guy who makes coffee, he speaks to him. The guy who cleaned the bathroom, he speaks to him. He speaks to the Jews. He, he spoke to everybody, except Muhammad. Why? I don't know. And the funny, they say, that Muhammad is the most beloved person to Allah. I mean, he is the most beloved to Allah, yet Allah don't want to speak to him. I mean, do you see how much love that? <laughs> like, hey Allah, do you love him? Yes, sure, a lot. But, but I don't want to see him. Why? Is he really so bad? I mean, what the... All right. <clears throat> uh, Merit, he says, sorry, CP, but Hamzat movement, Imam. No, those are not trolling me. Uh, the, the, the one who... Uh, uh, who asked for this was a trying for a few months and this is not a trolling that's false 
and actually the person he agreed to speak in private not not the imam the other person the one who is trying to bring them he agreed to speak in, in, in private only not in public so this is not a trolling uh, what is the issue with that who made that requirement you know, um, uh, Muhammad uh, Billy, you see, if you are a messenger of Allah, shouldn't Allah send you? How you know that you are sent by Allah, not by somebody else? I receive a message right now in Skype. Somebody saying to me, <clears throat> I am the angel Jibreel, and I decide to send you as a prophet. How I will know that this is really an angel and how I will know that this is not even shaitan. You're a prophet, he said, that shaitan, he came to him in the image of Jibreel. And his name is Al-Abiyad. So it's proven according to Islam that shaitan, he can come as an angel. So how Muhammad can confirm that he is a messenger of the God, he called him Allah, if shaitan, he can come in the image of an angel. So what is the proof that Muhammad, he is a messenger of so-called Allah? Nothing. <coughs> uh, say my name properly. Is it Bibli? As a from label? Oh, you are from Bibli Hill. Okay. I Sorry, I thought, you know. What, uh, so what uh, your name? Bibli? What, what is that? Bibli mean label? Bibel? Darus Sahar, his name is the house of magic. Yeah, so you have a God who told the prophet, his name is Muhammad, that I open a Hura Buddha school and this is a proof that Muhammad is a prophet. I got it. You got the point, brother. <laughs> Our friend here from Bibli Hill, what is that in the Tower of Babylon? What is that? Allah, he opened a school there for a Hura Buddha. And he sent two angels. One, his name is Harut. The other one, his name is Marut. And by the way, we serve together in the military. Harut, I will not tell you about Harut. Man, this guy, when he, when he fought, the smell is like hell. This is why they call him Harut, because when he fought, he, like he hurt you. You know, his fart really hurt. Like Harut is farting, hurt is coming. Everybody vomiting. It's like, it's like a, you know, like a, a, you know, a gas weapon or something, you know, chemical weapon. Yeah, Mr. Bibli Hill. Anyway, do we have any real Muslim who have the courage and the knowledge to call us and tell us if the Himzit movement don't dare to speak to us, well, you are not a Himzit and you are not a movement. And Mr. Fatullah Golan. <laughs> I mean, look at the hypocrisy in this country. I mean, this guy... Uh, uh, Erdogan is their friend. He is their best, actually, he is their best puppy. And now they are hiding this guy from Erdogan because Erdogan want to bite him. Do you know why they do that? So one day they will replace Erdogan with a new puppy. Yeah, this is what the West does, right? Yeah. Turkish Salafi. There is no Turkish Salafi. They are, the, the majority of the Turkish are Sufi. There's nothing really is called Salafi. Like, you know, is Erdogan a Salafi? Erdogan, you know, the nightclubs in Turkey is open, the drinking, the wine, the smoking. Uh, you know, when they ask his mufti, why you don't uh, close the nightclub? He says, who is going to pay for our salary? <laughs> uh, the same Allah talked to every messenger, really. Huh? Okay, hold on. Isn't it Allah in the Quran says he spoke to Moses? Isn't it the Quran says Allah spoke to Isa? Isn't it Allah he spoke to Adam? Isn't it Allah he spoke to Abraham? The Quran says so. Show me the verse where Allah he spoke to Muhammad. <laughs> Amar Rabbi Aman. The Turkish, they are eating Roman. Any brave Muslim? I don't care if you are Turkish, not Turkish. We can change your citizenship. Don't worry. We have Joe Biden. 
in the White House. This guy, he can even forget his name. We can make you the president in the White House. Everything is possible in USA. You see, everything is possible in USA, but not everything is possible with Allah. Because this is a fake God. He can do nothing. <clears throat> Through the burning bushes, Ah, not directly. So your stupid Quran and the Hadith, when he, when you call him Kalimullah, it was a lie. <laughs> Guys, Allah did not speak to Moses. He spoke through the bushes, brother. Can you elaborate? Your God was in the bushes or the bushes was your God? You see, I love it when Beverly Hill, Beverly Hill, Hill, when he tried to fix it, he make it more <laughs> it's like Harut he heard listen so as long Allah he spoke to Musa not directly so why your prophet he said you speak to you directly do you want me to show you the hadith here we go let us go you see you know why those cowards they run away because they search my name they find what will happen to them they say to themselves let us run before it's too late no insurance can cover us and no security can save us from what is going to come Hmm. So your prophet, Eliah, uh, shame on you. You just insulted your prophet. Hmm. What the heck? Did that Muhammad say that? Did Muhammad, he says, Allah spoke to you, direct talk? <laughs> Are you, are you there, Bibli Hill? Mr. Bibli Hill, are you there? You said Allah did not speak to him directly. You're a prophet, he said, he spoke to him directly. So which one of you? Aman, Rabbi, Aman. Look what his prophet said. He spoke to you direct talk, direct talk. Tadadam, 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 tadadam. Great and Prince, I told you, don't call me. Zach and Nick, how in the world you are answering? I am calling Moses. How you got his phone number, eh? Great and Prince, but the Paul, Prophet Musa, he gave his moon to Prophet Muhammad. Okay. And then Prophet Muhammad, he gave his phone to me. What the heck? So really, you have the same number right now? Exactly. Okay, what is the number of Musa's? Zero, 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 two, zero, zero, seven, zero. What the heck with this number? So you call Musa's Zakarnaic answer? Show in Arabic? <laughs> Do you speak Arabic? <laughs> look, look, look. The, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> the guy is trying to fix it. He says, show me Arabic. Why you don't call me and I will make you read in Arabic? So let us see. Are you saying to me that you Muslims when you translate your lie? I agree. <laughs> you know, when the Muslims they try to fix it, they make it even more blind. Show me in Arabic, okay? We Muslims, we lie when we translate. Can you take a Muslim translation serious? This is what he's saying to me. You cannot. So any Hazarat Imam Amar Rabbi Aman from Turkey would like to join us, Amar Rabbi Aman? Huh? Uh, a Muslim, look, the Muslims are upset from my love, fake love. They are not upset from fake God, fake prophet. They are upset. Fake love, okay? Fake love. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fake love. <laughs> I swear by the fig, by the olive, I swear it's true love. I swear that I have a God, he swear by the fig, don't love, I swear. Have you ever heard of a God, he swear by fig? <laughs> I mean, listen, fig is really, really, really delicious. But the God who created seven Alexis, Alexis, Balaxi, swearing by fig is too much to believe. Fig.
by the fig. What the heck? I, I, I heard in the time of the prophet, fig was like rear. Hmm? So Allah, he said to himself, what is the most expensive in the market these days? Seriously, what is the most expensive? What, what, what's wrong with this, uh, with this search engine? Like you search, you don't even fight it. I search for fig, it doesn't show. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> By the fig and the olive, I swear, I swear, I am hungry, I want to eat, I am Allah, I swear. Any Muslim can tell us why Allah swear by fig? How about you create fig from nothing? Ah, how about Allah can create a fig from nothing? So now if Allah swear by the fig, that is the proof that he is the one who created the fig? <laughs> Actually, it's the proof that he did not. Because you see, you swear by something bigger than you, something you cannot be like. Correct, guys? I swear by God, for God is, a, is the creator. I am not, nothing compared to him. But you swear by fig? Fig is just something created like anything. And if the God you swear by the fig, that is a silly God. Because what is a great about the fig for God? When you swear, you swear by something serious. And why God is swearing anyway? He swear to who? When Allah, he says by the fig, he is trying to prove that he is what? He's a watermelon? <laughs> He's a fruit? He is, a, he is a guy who works in a grocery store. What does that mean? <laughs> Why Jesus is called the stone? Uh, yeah, because he is the, the stone is presenting the metaphorical that he is the cornerstone of everything. You see, God is the cornerstone of the whole universe. Without him, everything collapses. He is the creator. Thank you very much. But doesn't mean he's a stone. But this is your God. He is swearing by the fig and the olive. By the way, what's wrong with Pepsi? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim he can't call us to swear by the fig? You know, actually I should make a tradition. Any Muslim he call us from now on to prove that he is a Muslim, he have to take an oath to swear him by the fig. If Allah swear by the fig, that means the fig is more important than Allah. Look, you swear by Allah, Allah swear by the fig. So who's more important? Just as you scarf. If you swear by Allah, and Allah himself, he swear by the fig. You know, <clears throat> hold on. I think there's a misunderstanding here. I think so, I think so. I think there's a misunderstanding. Hold on. First of all, we need to know what kind of fig Allah was swearing by. Turkish one or Greek one? Russian or Ukrainian? What do you think, Muslims? If you look at the fig, I mean, it is really, really something worth to swear by it. It is delicious. It is easy to touch, you know. Look, look at this, look. Look at this, man. Allah, he put the fig in front of him and he said, man, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I swear. Hey, Allah, come on, why you don't grab one and eat it? That's it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Allah cannot eat. <laughs> 
So Allah, according to Muslims, he do not eat, but yet he swear by fig. Give me a reason, just give me a reason, I'm asking, you know, if you have a reason, let me know. Don't tell me what the problem. Huh? Fig of Palestine. You know, the funny is, your God, he never mentioned the word Palestine once. He keeps saying Israel. <laughs> And not only that, you know, I remember once Abdul, I was, I think, in the Philippines. So I was speaking in the seminar, and Abdul, he put his hand up. It's time for questions. We gave him the microphone. He was, like, so nervous, and he says to me, why you don't speak? You are here bashing Islam, but you don't speak about the injustice, Israel taking the land of the Muslims, the Palestinian." So I said, okay, Abdul, can you open chapter 5, verse number 21? <laughs> and, you know, it took him like a half hour, almost like, I was like, come on, just find the verse, man. Chapter 5, yeah, flipping pages, flipping pages, flipping pages. Chapter 5, verse number 21, it says, Allah, he gave the holy land to the Jews. To the Jews. Oh, my people, who's talking, Moses? Remember, remember, remember. Remember by the river of Babylon where we sat down. So remember, Moses said to his people, Oh, my people, call in the remembrance of the favor of Allah into you. When he produced prophet among you, is Muhammad from them? No. <laughs> Made you king and gave you what he had, not given to any one other of the people. Oh, my people, enter the holy land, which as Allah has assigned into you. Where is the Palestinian? It turned to be that Allah was a Zionist too. And he is a, he's a Mossad agent. Prove me wrong. Not a single time, obviously Allah do not know that one day this land will become Muslim, so he gave the land to the Jews. It says, assigned into you. <clears throat> you know, I was wondering, as long as Joe Biden was taking oath uh, when he became a president, I don't know how they made him president, but things happened. Why did they give him a fig? I mean, this is a figgy presidency. What happened in Gaza? A lot of gas. What happened in Gaza? Somebody tell you to have a news agency? I mean, those Israelis, they are not doing a good job. Gaza, give me a break. So as you see, uh, ah, there is no Palestine in the Quran. Uh -huh. There is Quran. There is Palestine in the Hadith. What about in the Hadith? Why Allah totally forgot about you Muslims? And as you see here, it says assigned it to you. That's it. And what you can do about it? It's assigned. You know, they have the ownership. Who gave it to them by Allah? Now, come on. Don't waste my time. If there is any, anyone, he is a brave. He have the courage and the knowledge. Call me. Anyone? And you can swear by the fig as much as you want. Actually, I will give you the first 10, 10 seconds to swear by the fig. Just for your comfort, so you might get the support of the fig God. You know, the, the Hindus are vegetarian. So if the God of the Hindu, he swear, he said, I swear by the fig, eh, you know, I mean, they are Hindus, you know, vegetarian. But this God, I mean, he eat beef and he eat lamb. But yet, <clears throat> he is swearing by fig. Oh boy. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan who would like to join us live on air? 
we have a discount today. If you call me and you want a debate, you will end with two, two kilograms with delicious fig directly sent to you by Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Anyone? Hmm? Okay, let us forget about the fig now. I mean, the Muslim, they take us left and right. So is Muhammad as a prophet? Who is a Muslim? He can show us any proof that Muhammad is a prophet. What make a prophet a prophet? Anyone? Islam is not Abrahamic. Uh, Islam is not Abrahamic. Come on, come on. Islam is Abrahamic. And let me prove it to you. Abraham, he built the Kaaba. <laughs> I mean, this Abraham in Islam is very weird. Look, look, let me open the map for you so you can understand my point of a view. You see, because there's many points, I don't want you to take me wrong. Point of a view. Hmm. All right. Let us go to Google Map. Peace be upon Google. Okay. Google is asking me, do you want to have direction? <laughs> Even Google believe in the flat earth. Google want to wanna pray to Allah in direction of Mecca. <laughs> Look, brother. <clears throat> Let us be honest. Allah because he is God. And you know what God does? God does what God does. You know what God does? First of all, he swear by fig. So he said to himself, I am going to build a house for myself. And he looked at this earth. Hmm, where I'm going to build it? Where I am going to build it? Where I'm going to build it? I'm looking where? Like where? We are looking at the map, moving the map around. Here? No, no, no. Here? Oh, no. Here, no, I mean, we're like, come on, we need, we need a, we need a place, brother. Ah, I found it. Mecca. And then Allah, hold your nose. He chose the best location in Mecca. Not only he chose Mecca, he chose in the best location. You know, imagine you have an engineer and you ask him to choose the best location to build your house. And who is better than Allah? Ask any Muslim. They will say to you, he is the best engineer in the world. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah, he chose the location of his house where all the garbage and the sewage go to it when there's little rain happened. Do you see the clear proof that this is a chosen location by Allah? Look at this, subhanallah. Subhanallah. Allah chosen the best location. And look like the, the Kaaba is collapsing. This is a this is a picture when, uh, like this is not long time ago, by the way, but like this is the oil is start coming, you know, the, the, they start getting money. Before they put marble and you know, you know the, the crazy stuff. Now they have all the money from the oil. Look at this. Now this is a chosen place by Allah, and it is in a low, 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 low point of Mecca where all the sewage come to it when there's little rain. Any Muslim can tell me. Isn't it, this is a clear proof that all the claim is a, is a sewage claim? This is the most, this is the holy house of Allah, the sacred mosque of Allah, the house, the first house of Allah, and the first of house of Allah is under the sewage. In case you do not know, Mecca and Saudi Arabia, most of it does not even have sewage. They don't have sewage line. They have something called Bayara. Bayara simply is uh, a hole, a septic, septic, you know, but it's not really protected. So when uh, when the little rain happened, uh, all the poopoo, peace be upon him, 
will be floating like cake, like Muha Subhanallah. Look at the poop will swim. Is born to swim. Look, 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 look. And all the poop will go down to the town. Where? To Mecca. Where in Mecca? To the Kaaba. And now, you know, thanks to the American and British engineer, they were able to divert some of the flood, not all of it. Which means it still can happen. Yeah, there is no, you know, Saudi Arabia is really poor when it's come to uh, uh, service. You know, there's, uh, there's ma like major roads, they have asphalt. But then if you go out of the road, there is no sewage. And the reason there is no sewage, because simply there is no rain, there is no water. You know, sewage need need uh, like uh, need a system to support such a thing. Uh, so every house have a have a hole in you know in the yard, and the smell is so beautiful. By the way, uh, don't your God get humiliated in the cross? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. You see, you know, Mister uh, uh, Beverly Hill. <laughs> Your Muslims are really weird. In one, on one hand, this, you say Allah saved Jesus. In the other hand, you say he was humiliated. So which one you believe in? If you don't believe that Jesus was humiliated, that means you are being hypocrite right now. Because you believe never happened. Secondly, Jesus in the cross was killed. Not like you're a prophet. A bunch of African, they start jumping on him and riding him all day. Is that true? Is that true that a bunch of African, they rode your prophet all day long from the morning until night, one after one, and they were naked? Is that true? So if Jesus killed, well, he's killed in the cross as a man. But when your prophet been rode by men and they are naked all day long, and this is what you Muslims say, they rode him. What does that mean? Did they do something to him? And I can show you the reference. It says that the prophet, at the end of the day, he cannot even move from pain. But by the way, they did not say the pain we are exactly. Mm. Are you there? Or I should mention to you what happened to your prophet when he went to a taif. And they did beat the hell of him. And then Muhammad, he stay out of the town for a couple of weeks until he heal. So, he don't want anyone to know what happened. Shall I show you the reference? So look what happened in this garbage religion. When it's come to Jesus, nobody can be Jesus according to Islam. Allah saved him. When it comes to Muhammad, you can ride him. You can beat him. What about the one who broke his teeth? Huh? You're a prophet. You have no teeth. So when he speaks, he speaks like Zach and Naik. Christian Prince. First of all, I have teeth. And the reason I speak this way, because, uh, you know, the uh, uh, what? What the heck? Let us go back to our topic. If Allah was God and he chose in the best location for his house, why his house is in the worst location, at least in Mecca, I mean, come on. You see, Allah is God. Can't he like just lift up the ground? People, ask yourself. If Allah is God, can't Allah say, hey, ground, go up? And that would be an amazing miracle. You do not need to, uh, to ask the British and the American to build uh, a diver dam or, you know, and sewage system around us so you can take all the, uh, 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 the dirt to the, to the, to the, the musk, musk uh, lake. They have they have a lake. It's called the Musk Lake, El Misk. <laughs> but in fact, it is it is a poo poo lake. <laughs> so if Allah is God and He is the one who chose location, He just can say, okay, this is ground raise up. Let us say Allah He made a mistake. Oh, oops, look, like, when I put it, man, I did not think about the flood. But the funny is the Muslim they say that even rain cannot happen except by the will of Allah. And flood cannot happen except by the will of Allah. Have you ever heard of a God who want to flood his house? Right? 
why he did expose his naked body in the cross well you know for you this is nakedness but this is in the old days it was men dress you know when a man he is uh okay hold on hold on hold on if your god is uh is god is your god allah wearing clothes muhammad i have a question for you you will be the man if you can answer it do your God Allah wear clothes or he is naked? See, I'm using your logic. Now, don't be hypocrite. Do Allah wear clothing or he is naked? You are the one who brought this to yourself. I challenge any Muslim to say to me, either this or that. Don't tell me neither this nor that. That'll be funny. Do he wear clothing or he don't? Are you searching Google? Any Muhammadan? Okay, let us go back to the topic. I swear by the fig, by the fig, I swear, mm -hmm, I swear. You know what? I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to change the Quran and I'm going to add the watermelon chapter. You know? You are comparing God to man. You see, you are going calling me names now. Uh, see, Beverly Hill, he called me Himor. He speak two Arabic words and now he want to use them. Okay. Uh, uh, Bibli hell. What the word himar mean? Can you tell me, please? I don't speak Arabic good like you, brother. Can you tell the audience what the word himar mean? Please, if you don't mind. If it's okay with your security clearance. <laughs> Can you please tell us, brother, what the word himar mean? Himar mean a donkey, correct? Is it true that you're a prophet? His last name is dogs. And his wife is Zainab. Her last name is Donkey. If this is not true, I'm going to apologize and I will not come here forever. Are you there? Is it true that the last name of your prophet, Muhammad, seriously, we are not insulting. His last name is Kilab, which means dogs, not one dog, because nobody knows his father. And his wife, Zainab, Zainab will be into Jash, Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. So why you are calling me Himar? Are you telling me I am a family member of a Prophet Muhammad? And how you can marry a dog to a donkey, man? I mean, even scientifically not correct. <laughs> I suppose he's insulting me. Hey, Muslims, watch your mouth. You are talking to Christian Prince. I can whip you. I can whip the floor with your nose. Potato. Uh, 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 uh. So anyway, as you see in the front of us, no Muslim can answer how Allah, he chose the location of the house. And then this house always was under a flooding, garbage, stinky water. And look, this guy is, is a swimming. Did you see this guy? This guy is a swimming, literally. And that guy is sitting in the top of, like in the in the uh, the steps of the door of the cab, <laughs> like sitting in the swimming pool. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Do we have any Muhammadan here would like to say anything? Anyone? Hello? Okay, I am thinking to make a tourist trip to the, to the Kaaba. If you like to swim with muddy water where the sun set, as the Prophet said, you can register in our trip. I'm going to post a link, please. Okay, uh, by the way, we will not charge you a lot. Uh, we, this is what the Hajj is about. The Hajj is a great business, by the way. Do you know how much money Saudi Arabia make every year? 
I mean, those people, they are really, really ripping the Muslims apart. You will see a poor guy from Bangladesh. He hardly can buy a sandwich. He saved money all his life. He want to go to the Kaaba to touch the black stone so his sin would be forgiven. And then he go to the Saudi Arabia. They give him a finger. They let him touch the black stone for a second and they send him back home a second day. And they take all the saving of his lifetime. You see the great business? Actually, Muhammad in the Quran, he made it clear that the reason he want to make the Kaaba a place of visiting Hajj is just for the sake of money. <sighs> Do we have any Muslim here? Today we have a group, Turkish group from Muhammad Fathullah Golan. They supposedly they will show up to call us, but then they back down uh, because they are washing dishes. And the other one is uh, planting carrot because his vision getting weak and he cannot see the screen. So he need to eat carrot before he can call me. The third one, he is taking vitamin D. Okay. And now it is very, 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 very hard to find vitamin D, you know? Because the Muslim, they use it all to debunk me. <laughs> True story, brother. Sayyid Bukhari. Do we have any Muslim here can say something to us, something useful? How Allah can be God? How Muhammad can be a prophet? I'm just confused. I want to know. I want to convert. I like fig. Don't take me wrong. I want to plant a fig tree in my yard, you know? Any, uh, any Muslim? Hello? Open stream yard instead of Skype? Uh -huh. You guys, you like the yard, don't you? Uh -huh. I got your point there. You got the point there, huh? Does it make a different Skype or, you know, we use them, whatever we have. <clears throat> Who is a Muhammadan hero? You know, and the most funny thing about Muslims, when you show them something is very embarrassing, they try to duct tape. I mean, you, Walmart is out of duct tape. Like you say to them, the sun set in murky water. They say, no, no, no. It doesn't say that, CP, the good thing. What it does say then? This is from the perspective of Zulkarnain, ZB. Like, what? Well, let us go to the verse. <laughs> Actually, I cannot even type no more from laughing. <laughs> look, brother, look. This is was the perspective. The perspective of the guy. Okay, why Allah don't say this is from his perspective? I mean, what is the word perspective? It says, until he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a spring of murky water. He found that, who's talking Allah? He didn't say he thought. He didn't say he's a stupid. He said he found it. When you say he found it, I, I, will, I will explain it to you. Uh, just hold on. Just to make it simple for you. You are a married man. And the prophet, peace be upon him, he gave you rules to follow, you know? So you go and you find your wife in the bedroom and she is, <clears throat> I need water for this one. This is heavy duty one. <clears throat> all right, all right. What she was doing? I forgot, I forgot. Oh, I just remember. And now you need to find four witnesses and the four witnesses, they have to come and they have to see the private part of the guy who's sleeping with your wife going in and out, in and out, in and out. Literally. I mean, this religion must be coming from God. You know what? I thought about it from the perspective of Zulkarnain. I said, ah, his private part was going in spring of murky water. <laughs> from his... <laughs> from his perspective <laughs> now I know what is the spring and the funny you know Zakir Naik he says to you but then the third the brother they ask you thing how the Quran said the thunder didn't make water first of all brother Quran is the book of science and God he don't make such a mistake 
So when Allah he said the sun said in miracle water, he is speaking about from the perspective of the Kareem. If you go to the ocean, you see the sun going in the ocean. But the fact that the sun is not going in the ocean because the ocean cannot even have the sun. The yeah, Abdul, hold on. It says a spring. How in the world the water spring became an ocean? Is that Sayara Spring Ocean? <laughs> I mean, they try to duct tape and duct tape and duct tape. It says a spring, a spring, a spring. Where is the word ocean coming from? I want to know, man. Those Muslims are even confused about what is ocean look like and what spring look like. It says a spring. Are you sure the Quran is not written by Joe Biden? Like, you know the thing? So let us rewrite the Quran according to Joe Biden. Until he reached, the, the, you know the thing. He found the thing, sitting in the thing, in a thing thing. Near, near it, he found thing. And then we said to the thing, either you punish them, the thing, or you don't uh, treat them kindness, the thing. And now the verse is so clear. And this is the interpretation according to Nancy Balusi. Mm. <clears throat> Any Abdul? I like this Nancy Balusi, man. When she talk, she remind me of Allah. I mean, nobody can move her. She is there for for centuries. People die, people come, people, and she is in the same place. That's it. The chair for her. Like she would take it with her. That's it. You know, unbelievable. And tons of makeup. And she's she's still young, by the way. Unbelievable. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> if you would read contemporary school, you would know that this is referring to the perspective. How come you do not know? Read the book of Psalm 18, 15. That's deep. <laughs> yeah, Abdul. What does this have to do with Psalm 18, 15? Are you sure, brother? <laughs> so in Psalm 15, it says the sun set in a spring of murky water. That's deep. It uh, uh, doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> I mean, the Muslims, they are so desperate. They try to find anything. Abdul, what contemporary? This is your prophet, and let me get you busted. Contemporary. You know, I told Muhammad, Muhammad, can you shut up? I mean, the Muslim trying to defend duct tape. But this guy, he cannot shut up his mouth. And the more he talks, the more he makes poo-poo. Look what your prophet said. Contemporary perspective. Is that your prophet talking, brother? Mr. Contemporary? What you will say now to me? Prophet Muhammad, he is wrong? He got it wrong. Let me read for you, because now you are going to go deaf and mute and blind. And you heard nothing. You saw nothing. You are not even here. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. By the way, everybody sat behind the messenger of Allah. Nobody dared to sit in front of him. You know why. <laughs> Since he ate the dish of 40 men power, I mean, the guy is out of control. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, do you know where this set? Look at the serious question. The prophet voluntarily, he switched the donkey ride to a scientific fact. I love that. This is what happened when you accompany a PhD is of o -O -E -R -A 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 alien. So do you know where this set? I replied, this is the answer Muhammad he loved, by the way. You have to say that, otherwise he will kill you. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best Muhammad now. It is like a, his feather is a, is a, is a, like a rooster now. Well, it's true. Allah and his prophet knows best. This is me. Yeah, this is me. Okay. So now he said, 
He said it's set in a spring of warm water. Mr. Contemporary, are you there? Mm. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? Abdul there? Guys, did you see the speech, the speech of uh, Donald Trump a few days ago? Uh, I'm going to cut that part where he said, don't do it, Abdul. <laughs> and I will add it to my intro. He said that in the speech, don't do it, Abdul. <laughs> Listen, Abdul. Don't give me, give me, don't give me your garbage. Did your prophet say it is set in a spring of more war, in warm water? Hmm? Huh? Okay, uh, listen, listen, Mansoor, what about you call me and we will talk about 1815, the book of Psalm, and this hadith and this verse. What do you think, guys? Fair. Is that fair? In the front of everybody, you tell me what do you want to say about this thing? And people will laugh at you. And I will tell you my answer. And you tell me your answer about what I'm saying. What do you think, people? Do you have the courage? You don't. You are a potato like your prophet. You are. You are. You are. Hmm. You idiot. You know, this is a, the book of Psalm. You know, idiot. This is a song. This is a poetry. The man is meditating about God. And this is not about an ocean. And this is not about water. And this is not about a wind. Anyone read it, he will know that you are a stupid don't like your prophet. Shame on you. Corrupt religion. But anyway, if you can prove your bond, call me. And I will be happy to have you. What do you think? Somebody want to say to me hi. I mean, my friend, is it time to say hi now? Okay, hello. Somebody want to call me in Skype to say hi. Okay, we'll receive the hi. Just leave it. Leave it in the front of the Porsche. Don't you see we are busy with the Abdul and Allah who said the sun and the murky water and the Prophet who explained very well? Did Muhammad made a mistake when he say that? Did Muhammad lie? So why Muslims they lie try to cover up what the Quran is saying? Hmm. Any Abdul? Anyone? Yeah, we are taking calls from Muslims for now. Maybe later we can allow some Christians to call. But for now, we want customers first. You know, customers come first. How come you look at things poetically only when you want? You're stupid. It's called the Book of Psalms. Do you know what Psalms mean? I mean, you are stupid, mentally ill. Isn't it? Even your prophet, he said this is, a, this is a poetry. You Muslims are really weird. You see, you don't have dignity even to accept what your prophet says about books. In Arabic, what, what the name of the Arabic? What Psalm mean? What the book of Psalm mean? So why you are a hypocrite and why you are a liar? This is not even God talking. Petitos. And where is the sun set in murky water there? <laughs> actually okay if we ask you who is the one who wrote this book hey muslims who is the one who wrote this book give me give me his name give me his name who is a muslim knows who is the one who wrote the book of sam hmm? according to your stupid god the quran allah i mean do you see how stupid your god what's wrong with this god By the way, where is the book? Huh?
Hello? By the river of Babylon. <coughs> Oh. I have to admit that when Muhammad he speak it said like jewels science it's unstoppable strong teaching I have emotional damage yeah you remind me of my situation you know brother Rataz Rataz Ahalaha what the heck with your name is that like did you have an accident or this is by birth look what this guy he said I know he's joking I don't know what he's saying Okay, I got your name correctly. He said EPCP, he has, he has emotional damage. That's deep. Brother, are you a fortune teller? How you know? Be honest with me, how you know? How you know? Hmm? Unbelievable. Are you a Hindu? I know your name is a clue to Sad Guru. His name is Sad, and yet he teaches you how to be happy. <laughs> Abdul Potato. Don't you know that Muhammad, he is the one who tried to commit suicide many times? So is the one who have emotional damage. I never tried to commit suicide even once. Prove it, prove it. Go ahead. Prove it. However, I can prove that your prophet, he tried many times to commit suicide. Let us see who is the one have emotional. Muhammad not only have the emotional damage, I mean, this guy, he have damage, everything. You know, and I challenge you, by the way, to tell me why he's trying to do that. What is the, what is behind this story? Why a man, he have all those beautiful women, very beautiful men, unbelievable. If you see Aisha, you will go crazy. She is, was hot. Even the prophet, he called her Al-Humayra. Anyone knows what Al-Humayra mean? Humaira came in from Himara, which means donkey. Unbelievable. The Muslims, they say no. He called her Humaira because she was red. What the heck? She is an Arabian and she is a red head. That is something. All right. So look, brother. It says here, the Prophet Muhammad, <coughs> uh, he tried to commit suicide. The Prophet becomes so sad. As we have heard, he has intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains Hey, Mr. Emotional Damage, are you there? Are you there? Let me let me speak in the English accent. Accent. Are you there? No, not this way. Are you there? There. Like, what the heck? This is not how the English people talk, man. Are you? Are you there? Like, what the heck? I need to squeeze my throat. <clears throat> are you? I can't do it. It doesn't work. I, I can do as I can act, but are you there in the bridge accent? I can't do it. Are you there? Who is the one have emotional damage? A prophet of God, and now he needs a shrink, and he is trying to commit his suicide. And now each time he go to the top of the mountain to throw himself, and then the angel, he appear in front of him, holding from his pant, say, Muhammad Habib, you don't jump, you are a prophet. When you are talking about emotional damage, unbelievable. You, are, you did hurt my feeling, by the way. <laughs> let me jump from the window. Let me jump. Guys, don't hold me, please. Zibril, please let me, please. please. Zibril, I want to jump. Christian Prince, you are truly, truly a prophet. Really? Yes, you are a prophet. Okay, I will go home now. Okay, and then the Eid Muhammad, second day, he come in the morning and he want to commit suicide again. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid story like this? He just told you yesterday that you are a prophet. Calm down, go back home. Second day in the morning, he go to the top of the mountain again. It looked like this guy, Muhammad, he like it. He feel important, you know, like, you know, you know what? I'm going to make a trick. I will go to the top of the mountain. 
and I will act like I'm jumping. And then Zibril, he will start begging me, please don't do it, please don't. And I will say, no, no. Listen, Muhammad, I will buy you iPhone 15. Not even until now, iPhone is not made. I'm promising you, iPhone 15 is going to be in your pocket before you go home. Really? Yes. iPhone 15? Yes. That the one you can say like, you can say what's up? Yes. Can I send you what's up? No. Why, you know? Because we angels don't accept to hear rings. And see pictures. <laughs> and you are talking about emotional damage, potato. Anyone? <clears throat> Actually, who of you who said in that in that in the comment in the previous video that those guys will not show up? Who is the one who said that? There is one of you. He said they will not show up. He was right. And I think what they, they made, the mistake they made, they told them, they told them, this is a Christian prince. They should not tell them. Never tell anyone he's a sheikh or something. You will shake the heck of him. Don't tell them. They have no idea what will happen. Hey, you know, uh, Muhammad Billy, uh, you see, you're asking me now to block you. Here we go. You keep calling me names, you stupid idiot son of Muta. Get out of here. Coward. Uh, why you don't agree for face to face? Let us see where they will go. And why I want to do face to face? What does this have to do with my face? Can we do it butt to butt? Hey Muslims, can we do debate butt to butt? Your God Allah never saw his face. You never saw Muhammad's face. You never saw Jibreel's face. You never even heard their voice. What this face to face thing? And when somebody suggests, why you don't do it? I mean, what's your business? I don't do it. This is how I do it. I like I like this way. I, I'm not uh, seeking to be famous. And eh, I sit wearing my short, looking at Muhammad. Nobody there to debate me. Muslim leave Islam and everything is perfect. What's your problem? Why you want to see my face? Why you want to scare yourself? You see my face, you will never have kids after that. <laughs> Uh, you are a child of Allah? Really? Look at this guy. This Abdul is weird. Literally is weird. You are a child of Allah? Are you serious? Can you elaborate, Mr. Uh, what's his name? I, I think I'm going to hire somebody to read the name for me. I mean, why in the world you make like your name like a train? Ahrataza. Ahrataza. Ah. That is like biology, from the biology stuff, you know. Ahra, ahra, taza, rata, zahala. What the heck? Your name include rats? Okay. Abdul, isn't it the Quran say that the Christian and the Jews, they say, they are the children of Allah. Say, then why Allah punish you? <laughs> You Muslims don't believe in such a thing, you potato. What are you talking about? <laughs> Is this guy like playing games, maybe? <laughs> oh boy. Isn't this your God saying there's the Christian, the Jew, they say we are the children of Allah and His beloved? Say, why he punish you then? <laughs> Child of Allah, that's a good one. I mean, it's time is changing, you know? I mean, look, there's inflation. We have to accept. Joe Biden came, everything screwed up. The infl there's inflation in the brain of the Muslims. There's inflation in the Quran. It's getting bigger. Now they are, there's a verse in the Quran saying that the Muslims are the children of Allah. That's a good one. It's new. Brand new, just came out of the egg. Did you did you hear the debate, the video of uh, Yasser Qadi when he said that people of Gog and Magog, then when they die, brother, Allah will send a flying elephant. 
that's deep flying elephant no sorry flying camels sorry it's my mistake flying camels and they will grab them from their neck and they will take them brother throw them somewhere all my life I wanted to get a flying camel you fly with your camel hmm. <clears throat> Oh boy. Filipino for Christ. By the way, Filipino people, we have our book, my book, translated for you for free. So don't forget to download the book and share it around in every Facebook page. It's for free, totally for free for Filipinos. Okay? Sige, sige. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, okay. I love Filipino people. By the way, if you want to speak Filipino, it's very easy. You go to any place, just say to them, Sige, Sige. Anything you want is okay. You know? Just Sige, Sige. Do you remember the Filipino guy? He, he's a, the Muslim, Rashid. What his name? Rashid. He, called him, he claimed that to be a sheikh. He says, Keith Halek. He, he, not, he worked as a, as a taxi driver in Saudi Arabia, and now he supposed to be new to Arabic words, and he wants to speak to me in Arabic now. Keith Halek. <laughs> Say Abdul, come on, you don't speak Arabic. Speak to me in English. Give Ali, give Ali. <laughs> Abdul, come on. <laughs> give Ali. <laughs> Sigi mean okay. Thank you for telling me. I don't know. Once I was going to do a seminar, and the guy who was, you know, like he cleaned the thing, you know, you know the thing. So I told him, bring uh, like some, you know, and uh, clean the board. Bring some water and he cleaned the board he said uh, uh, too big sir too big I said no it's not too big it's too small it's gonna take but take a second just get some water and clean it too big sir too big sir he don't speak good English you know I said listen what are you talking about it's not too big it's so small and then I got so upset I went I got I, I get the thing to clean it by myself and then later I found out he is agreeing he is saying too big too big in Filipino mean water and I was saying to myself, I say to him, water, he said to me, too big. It's just a little board in the board, man. What's wrong with people? It's not too big. Uh, make Tamara blue uh, again. Why she is not a blue? Uh, why she is not an admin again? What happened? Did she change her name? She was an admin. How we know that this is the real Tamara? Maybe she is not the true Tamara. <clears throat> she lost her account accidentally. Hey, it turned to be not only Muhammad gets satanic verses, brother, and the Quran been eaten by a goat. Look like Tamara. Somebody ate her account. Look, 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 look. The Quran, brother, is preserved. When we were busy, a goat, a damn sheep, he entered the bedroom of a prophet Muhammad and she ate the Quran. <laughs> How I know it's me? Just by saying it's me. Okay, I want you to do the following. In the chat, say A, A, because I know your voice. In the chat here, say A, Okay, you know we are Arab. We are so smart. You cannot, you cannot deceive us. You cannot fool us. <laughs> Don't ever try. Say a. She, she is not saying a. This is not her. You know, if the real Tamara, she will say a in the chat. Ah, uh, this is her now. Now I believe you. Okay, now I will make an admin. Alhamdulillah, she that she confirmed to be her because she said a in in the Tamara accent. She have a special accent. You know, like when you speak Tamara, she is like. A, see, we, you know, like, you know, the hair A is different. It's like somebody, you know, going like hiking a mountain or something. Like, it's a long, long A. Anyway, to make the story short, she became an admin. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I will take your friends for granted. And, and later, if it turned to be, it's, you are not the real Tamara, I will move them all off. <laughs> what the heck is that? Do we have any Muhammad in here? 
<clears throat> Somebody sent me a message saying, uh, uh, can you stop being, uh, I mean, you say things, I cannot take it no more. I can't breathe in that other day. What the heck? Now they will sue me. <laughs> you killed my husband from laughing. He was the most handsome guy in town. How oh, I'm going to replace him now? None of my business, just close his ear. Hmm. All right, all right. Uh, so do we have any Mohammedan here want to say anything? So our Skype is open and there's no Mohammedan. I mean, come on. Don't worry, Mr. Justin. Actually, you know what? We will take calls from a Christian just for the sake of have, you know having a good time. If you are a Christian, you like to call me, you can call me. All right, only Christian. We will not take Muslims. As long as Muslims are not calling, what we can do? All right, just text me first. You cannot call me directly. I will not take your call. I have text me first, and I will call you. Make you an admin. Why I want to make you an admin? Do you know the consequence of being an admin? Each one of those admins pay me five dollars <laughs> and buy me ice cream to make them admins. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Nothing work in this time without a bribe, brother. You have to bribe Allah, you know, and then you, Allah will make you admin in his heaven. There's level in the heaven of Allah. There's ranks, you know, depend on how much you spend. Like, come on, no money, no honey. You know the business. You know, have you ever heard of a God? He is begging people to give him money and he claim that his interest is so high. Why does God don't make his own money? Hmm? Unbelievable. Chapter 2, verse number 245. This is the verse, uh, Mimi Hijab. He caught it right away after his debate with uh, David Wood. He said to himself, this is the opportunity. And he's right. This is the opportunity. David Wood, you know, he gave him opportunity. He can't even imagine. Right away, him and Ali Dawa, they went, Allah, a beautiful loan, which Allah will double to him in his credit, multiple time. And that's so Muslim will send the nation now, you know? Mm. This is God. You know, I was thinking about, like, claiming to be prophet, a Muslim prophet. And then ask for like this. I make a verse like this. Man, I will live a very nice life. Oh boy. I will not worry about the inflation and the price of beef. <clears throat> Everybody switching over StreamYard. It's okay, my friend. I will use it when it's, you know... <laughs> Sometime I might I might start using it maybe uh, maybe next week we will see for some time. Any uh, any uh, we said any now Christian who wanna call me nobody call when we say no, call nobody call. <laughs> when we say don't call they call when they say don't call unbelievable everything is is happening upside down. Any Muhammadan? Yeah, as usual, the Abdul, they chicken out. And you know, the funny is, if I say, if I say no, they will say he run away from us, right? I never say no to anyone. Especially if they are sheikhs. I mean, not kids like stupid, they call just to make a bully or, you know. I, you know, I was waiting and we announced it. And what we can, what we can do. Oh no, Tamara is going to call. Guys, do you know what happened when Tamara called? She will say, hey. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, all right. Can you elaborate who is Hafs? Hafs is a narrator of the Quran. He recited the Quran, but he is a thief. He's a thief, he's a scumbag, according to Muslims, not to me, I never met him, you know? So if you go and search right now, like if I type two words in Arabic, Hafs kana kathab, Hafs was a liar. You will find long articles about Hafs, the fraud. He was a fraud and his stepfather who he learned the Quran from him was a fraud too. And the funny is, the Muslims don't, they don't accept any hadith from Hafs. Why? Because he's a liar. So how do you accept the Quran? <laughs> so for us, he doesn't have a cut. He have nothing because this is why he called because uh, you know CP. There's one thing important CP. <laughs> if you show him something really embarrassing, he says, "I don't know about it." Uh, are you black, my friend? You don't sound Arab. I think you are hiding many things. Hey, guys, Mansoor, he is sniffing. Mm. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. Mansoor is a sniffing. The laundry, oh man. What, Mansoor? What, what, what? Arabian Prophet, are you black? My friend, you don't sound Arab. I think you are hiding many things. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm wearing my short. Yes, I'm wearing my short. Everything is fine. What are you talking about, man? How you know? Brother? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Let us say I'm black. What is the problem? Do you have a problem with the black people? Hmm? Uh, CP, I miss you. Okay, thank you very much for missing me. Don't forget next time to bring uh, falafel. <laughs> <laughs> What a, you know, this religion is really, really stupid. You see, he's a prophet. Obviously, he is anti-black. His God is anti-black. You remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said, about how Allah created the, the black people and the white people? You remember? This is how faith this man is. Mansoor. Mansoor, why you don't call me, my friend? And then he will talk to me. I can talk to you in Arabic, brother. And then you will know if I am black or not. What do you think? Baklava is better than falafel. Well, baklava for the rich one of you. You know, come on. We have to be, we have to, <laughs> to adjust the requirement. Not everybody can afford to buy baklava, especially after we have Joe Biden, the president. People are go are going bankrupt. <laughs> oh boy. Um, notification. Uh, how many times we say it? Subscribe to Patreon, so you will receive. Guys, you keep complaining. No notification. Okay, just go to Patreon. Subscribe. It's for free. You know, you don't have to make a donation. I know that you guys are cheap. It's okay. It's okay. You know, uh, but at least you will receive notification when I post the link. I will go live. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I sound what Syrian. Ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, people are expert. Do we have any Abdul here? Would like uh, no Abdul, no Christian, nobody. 